but i think this is one of my favorite planners i have potato again so oh, what is it shot brew cheers hey Stella bellas and welcome back to my channel today's comment shout out goes to noelle renee joseph she said absolutely love this video and the explanation of what it takes to be an influencer because at that moment i was like i would have loved to ask you that for your next q a and you answered it so well thanks for being you well you're an inspiration thank you noelle for your comment if you would like a shout out in my next video make sure to leave a comment on this one and to interact with me on my other platforms it's been about a month since i've uploaded a video to youtube and what has been going on in this past month as you can hear i actually don't know if you can hear because sometimes it sounds like something then when i watch the video back when i'm editing it doesn't sound that way but i am slightly congested last week if you follow me on instagram and tiktok you would have already seen this but last week was our church's celebration conference so we were at church the whole week last week and there were a couple of days where we were coming home quite late so i think it was just me being out in the cold There were a few days of me being out in the cold like one night was quite windy and then also i was screaming and shouting and laughing a lot so i lost my voice it's back now so my throat is fine it's just my nose is still congested but i've been taking like um effervescence and drinking a lot of water and staying hydrated so last week was also school holidays so my sister and a few cousins came to stay over the whole week that was fun and they were supposed to go home on thursday and we've been procrastinating since thursday to send them home and we only took them home on sunday so work has been hectic i've had to say no to a couple of things um at my age of five even though it was bringing in more income i just i couldn't it was taking my joy away and i'm like uh no i'm taking my joy taking my happiness joy comes from the lord sunday we had some people over from church and we had did we have a bride no we just got pizza and we watched the match and it was so good it was just like it was such a good time oh it was just such a good time also guys i don't know if i've spoken about this on my youtube channel but you have seen it on instagram one of my cousins has twins and the twins turned one on the 3rd of october and their party was on saturday and it's like i can't believe that they won it feels like just the other day you know but they won the babies are one it the party was so cute absolutely adorable i have content to create today oh my gosh my nose i hate when i sound like this i have content to create today i am shooting a influencer tiktok post for kfc so that's why i am dressed like this i think i did keep my tested glasses for this particular reason but now i can't find them they were lying here so i've kept my glasses so i'm gonna shoot this part first i've already like made a little script and then i'm gonna change and be me again but there's something else that i really wanted to show you guys so please hold again if you follow me on tiktok and on instagram you would have already seen what this looks like but we have 2023 planners now i need to start off by saying that the guy who i was working at working with at the printers he got fired i can only assume why but the lady that i'm working with now told me that he was giving out he gave me incorrect pricing so the prices of the planners is a lot higher this year which means the price that you have to pay is also higher so they cost 195 rand i have made them thinner to cut down costs so this is last year's planner and this is the size of this year's one it still has the same things on the inside this is not the final sample the final sample is being made where we have gold foiling on the front so this is what it looks like it's very neutral very minimal and it's just i think it's absolutely beautiful i think that about all my planners but i think this is one of my favorite planners like it's just 
it's grown and sexy that's what it is so it still has the month cover page it has a mood board page the goals page with the to-do list and priorities the full month calendar and then it starts going into the months and it also has the year overview in front i know that was requested by a few people let me show you a few this is what june looks like i just think it's it's like grown up you know september so that's what this planner looks like pre-orders close on the 4th of december you will get your planners hopefully before christmas but latest before the end of the year they cost 195 rand and a portion of all proceeds go to caring for girls and if you don't know caring for girls provides sanitary wear and education to underprivileged schools and i in the past have collected we have collected pads you have also contributed a lot we've collected pads many times in the past for the same organization so that's where some of the funds are going to and you can pay for standard delivery to your door which is 75 bucks or you can do pep paxi which is 65 rand. if you are checking out via pep paxi please do put in in your delivery address the pep store that you want the order to go to i need to shoot for kfc now i <clears throat> my voice guys yo i don't know what to do but i need to shoot for kfc i'm gonna go shoot the first part and then i'll come back when i put my clothes back on that dress is lying there this door still has hasn't there's nothing's changed in a month nothing's changed this door still hasn't been fixed um so yeah yo oh guys if you don't follow me on tiktok please go follow me on tiktok but this foundation right i'm not even gonna lie to you the first time when they put it on me um at the activation i think the lady put too much on because when i came home it didn't look nice it was like orange and i was not happy and when i tried it on myself and i put like a small amount which is the normal amount that i use with all my foundations this foundation is so good so 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 good so it's it has spf 20 in it and it is it's basically like they say it's skincare in your shade i've been using fenty a lot like fenty has been my go-to uh perfume <laughs> my go-to foundation but i have noticed that whether i set my skin with powder with a translucent powder and then put foundation on or whether i put translucent powder over my foundation it still starts getting oily towards the end of the day and like shiny in certain spots which if i don't have time to like touch it up or to blot my skin it looks untidy for me personally this one however my skin still this one however my skin still does get oily but not as bad as other foundations and i think it's because it's a matte matte foundation um, so it's called Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 20 and mine is Warm Caramel, I think. Cream Caramel. My shade is Cream Caramel, so this is a very good foundation. These are the, the foundations that I've been using a lot. This is my best OG ride or die absolute favorite foundation. It's Urban Decay Stay Naked. <laughs> I love this foundation so much. But because Urban Decay left South Africa, I, I don't use this foundation that often. You can see it's like up to there. I only use this on special occasions. I use this. This has become my like everyday one, which is Fenty in the shade. Uh, yeah, 370. That's my shade. And then this Clinique one has also started coming into rotation the other foundations that i have i think this is the empty bottle that i need to top up i really 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 love this foundation it's a maybelline 30 hour one and my shade is 61 warm bronze love this foundation so much i also have a tesh beauty one here but i don't know why i haven't been using it i'm checking it's even starting to separate why haven't i been using this i don't know i don't know but oh and i also this one is also a good one uh maybelline fit me in 350 caramel but if i had to choose between these two i would choose this one 1000 percent. so that is my foundation debacle do i even have earrings for this lady i can't even remember it's been such a long time since i've done a salachi video i'm like not even there hello 
I just finished filming both parts of the skit and I didn't put makeup on for the second part. I was going to put makeup on, but then like the whole of last week and the week before that for a few days, I've been wearing makeup every day. So I'm just like, my skin just needs a rest. Um, what am I going to do now? So, oh gosh, please don't look behind me. So, to, yo, 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 yo. So, oh. okay. Oh, it's very yellow here. Oh, look at my boy. Say hi, my my. Ollie is scared of the tripod for some reason. Guys, please don't look behind me. It's a bit messy. I need to edit those videos now. I also shot a little skit. It's been a while since I've done one of types of people in a group chat. And based on multiple group chats of mine. And I can't wait to post that. By the time you're watching this, it should be live. So check that on TikTok, on, Inst on TikTok and on Instagram. And maybe on YouTube Shorts. Some of my videos I've been doing quite well on Shorts. So I think I'm going to post that there too. Let's do a little garden update. First of all, the heat wave has completely destroyed the grass. Everything used to look like this. And now, <sighs> let's not even get into that. Okay. First up, <clears throat> all my herbs died. These brown boxes are from Woolworths and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put them back in like a normal pot like this but I didn't so they are dead. That was basil and dania and then in there I've got mint, thyme and rosemary. They, they'll come back to life. There's nothing in there but I want to plant chilies in there. Here I've got a bird feather. Ew, don't like this. That's nasty. Ew. Okay, in here I've got lettuce and... This is a potato plant that started growing and it was so funny because when I saw this I'm like wow sometimes you even forget the seeds that you planted but God never forgets and they do come up when the time is right so this is my lettuce I've cut quite a few from here there was another plant here but it died but I've cut quite a few leaves and made like salad from that this is garlic in here as you can see it's growing nice and big and then in here I have potato again. So, what is that? Yeah. Something just flew out. So, we've got one, two, three, four, and there's another plant at the bottom that will come up out of this. And then I also saved these two compost bags to plant more potatoes. I just need to get more compost. And then on this side, we have flowers. But the soil on the side of the garden is really, really bad. So, things don't grow properly. Like I had. In that gap, I had strawberries and in there, and I took them out because it just died and I planted them in pots on the other side, you'll see. And this is our lemon tree, not really gaining height, but gaining leaves, which is fine. These flowers are so cool. So as you can see, I only have white flowers <clears throat> in my garden. And then this is the other side. In there is where I repotted the strawberries. So hopefully <laughs> that works out. And then this is our apple tree growing really good. Please explain to me how we've been living here for almost two years and we still have boxes that have not been unpacked. How? How? Also, we have family coming over soon, so get our baskets. I'm trying to clean up the cupboards and like pack stuff away because we have like random things like that. And the heater is still in the lounge, so I'm gonna put it away. But also, since I'm gonna be unpacking this cupboard, I feel like it only makes sense to put the Christmas tree up now. <laughs> Just joking, guys. I'm bad, but not that bad. But also, Checkers already has Christmas decorations vibing. These are my cousin's shoes. She must come take them. Lavona, come take your shoes. Hi, guys. I just finished straightening my hair now. Didn't do a very good job because it's very hot but it was just looking too, too crazy. It's Friday, it's after work. It's been a very long couple of weeks with work, but it's fine. Today we're going to group. We always go to, it's like cell group. It is actually cell group, but it's for young adults. So 21 to 35 year olds. So there's various groups that meet around the city and we're going to go to group tonight. But first off, I wanna make supper. I wanna try and make fish curry tonight. I don't have fresh fish, so I'm gonna use box fish and just see how that works. But it's not the crumbed one, it's like the hake medallion one. So I wanna see how that goes and if it goes 
as expected. I, <clears throat> Trevino and I went shopping earlier today just to get some snacks for tomorrow. We have a friend coming over for a braai. He is more excited to see Ollie than anything else, which is how everyone usually is. Hello, my boy. You're getting a friend tomorrow. A friend is coming to play with you tomorrow, my love. Come, you're gonna come sit on mom. Come, jump. Oh, ah, your nails are so long and I'm wearing shorts. Oh, I just said I watched it is in here. You can see I'm drinking coffee. Ollie, say hi. Say hi to the vlog, my boy. Say hi. He's so heavy. Ollie weighs 15 kgs, guys. And he's not overweight. The vet said he's fine, but yo, he's thick. He's thick. When people meet him in real life, they're like, he's quite fat, eh? I'm like, hey, my baby. Okay. Ew, don't lick my table. I'm gonna go start cooking now. Hopefully it turns out good. I'm gonna put the fish in the oven first because they are frozen and I don't want the chutney, the like curry part of the fish curry to be too watery. So I'm gonna put it in the oven first and then I'm gonna cut it and put it in the curry itself. So let's see how that goes. Forgot to show you in the vlog, <clears throat> but this is so good. So good, my nose is leaking. Good morning. I my nails are lifting yesterday because I I don't know what I was doing but I just and it went and then it was bleeding underneath there it was a whole drama anyway it's Saturday morning group last night was amazing I'm very sorry that I forgot to show you the curry when it was cooked like halfway through eating it I was like oh my gosh this curry is so good anyway I had the dishwasher on and just finished praying Ollie is eating his breakfast and I am boiling potatoes to make potato salad for the braai that we're having today and I will show you guys everything for the preparation of that as we go throughout the day. Jalapeno poppers. So I just sliced the jalapenos, took the seeds out, put cream cheese in and then wrapped them in bacon. As you can see, we ran out of bacon at some point but that's fine. And I'm going to put this in the oven until the bacon is cooked. And then I'm going to start making the little coochie board. And then I'm going to be done. Tell me now, tell me something. Because I don't know how this going to end. Oh, no. Tell me now, tell me something. Because I don't want to be just friends. No, no. I usually go way overboard with the snacks so I think this is perfect for three people I think it's gonna be a hit these are so good I haven't made them in a while I need to make them more it's very very bright I don't know I don't know my hair is not looking good at the back I don't know some of them is curled in like nice the way I want it and some is straight which I'm not a fan of I'm using my Clinique even better clinical foundation so I've been using this foundation quite a bit lately and the reason that I like it is because it's a matte finish and my skin does not get oily or as oily um, <clears throat> by the end of the day as it usually does with other foundations like because this is a matte one you can still see shine coming through but it's not as bad as other foundations I do however need to figure out my setting powder situation because I don't want to have like a white cast on my face if I do set on top of my foundation with banana powder. So maybe one day I will buy myself like the Huda setting powders, which are translucent but in your shade. I think that might be the best, better option. Hello. Hello. Family meeting. Hi, Bomb Bomb. Fine, Bobs. Yeah, I look good. I don't know about the belt. Hmm? I don't know about the belt. Why? And I don't know about the shirt tucked in either. That's yeah. not what I expected your outfit to be. Mm -hmm. So it only works with the chinos? Yeah, not those shoes. 
I think maybe you see the shirt off. I think you have to take the shirt off and take the belt off, yeah. Okay, yo, why is it so bright though? Let me. Is that better? Here we go. This is not a flattering angle. I have to admit that it is not a very flattering angle. But I have also for the past two weeks fallen off track a little bit in terms of working out and those type of things. So there's that. Where's my eyebrow pencil thing? It was weird, it wasn't supposed to be. This is the benefit precisely my brow pencil. It's not my preferred brow product of choice, but it's what I have. This Huda one is my preferred brow product of choice. But when I went to buy a top up, they didn't have my shade, so I just took this. I mean, it's not bad, it gets the job done, but I just prefer the Huda Beauty one. Somebody asked me if I'm going to do vlogmas on one of my Q&A stickers on Instagram. I would like to say that I'm going to, but I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I can actually do vlogmas this year. But we're not going anywhere, so thank you. Monsieur, I love it. I'm hungry. Cool. We have nice brownies. No, I don't want to eat that so early in the morning. Uh, yeah, I think I'll have a banana or something before we go. A banana. So, so okay, I'm trying to think because I'm pretty sure I've said this in public before, but let me just embarrass myself further. If I have sometimes, if I have coffee in the morning, it makes me poop. It's like a laxative, but only in the morning and only certain times. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I've said this on like an older vlog, but as soon as it started getting, like as soon as winter started ending, I invested a lot of time, money, and effort, blood, sweat, and tears, minus the sweat, I mean minus the blood and tears, <laughs> into my grass and making it flourish and into our garden actually as a whole. And because of the heat and the lack of rain, my grass died again. It was beautiful and thriving and green without patches. And now it's like winter grass all over again, which is very frustrating. And then we also um, got a notification on one of the group chats yesterday that, that there are water restrictions and you can't use a hose pipe or like irrigation system or whatever. So I've been filling up the watering can and just watering my vegetables and the lemon tree and apple tree and roses and I haven't watered the grass because we can't right now. So I'm praying for rain. I would love some rain in Joburg. I know KZN has gotten rain. I think Cape Town also got rain. And then here we are hot and dusty and dry and annoying. I think that's why also my nose is the way it's being it's still congested. It's very frustrating. Yo, guys, the fact that I'm st still using this after it hit pan and knowing that there ain't no urban decay in South Africa, but I'm just finishing my favorite eyeshadow shade of life. <clears throat> it's called Ruff from Urban Decay, if anyone wants to know shot brew cheers did you give me my milk you sure 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 thank you oh that's good that is good now we can stop spending like 60 rand each at starbucks yesterday the funniest thing happened right so we at starbucks with uh, what are we calling him our family this is a Sash and Tanita situation all over again where I don't know whether they're family or friends, I'm not going to say family where we were with this guy 
at Starbucks. Hold on, I need to delete some footage on my mail card. Okay, yes. So we were with him at Starbucks. That's not the one is. And we didn't have our cards. And we've only used um, the tap to pay function on our phones once before. And I used it. So I gave my phone to Trevino and he was like, okay, it needs your face and I don't know. So I'm like, just click the side button. And by the time I said that, he already went and tapped his phone. And I'm like, but thank you. Thank you so much for buying us coffee yesterday. I had a pumpkin spice. <laughs> Let me tell you the story about the pumpkin spice. I feel like I'm talking about poop a lot today. The When it first came out, like this year, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, I love the pumpkin spice, the ice one. It's my favorite. Let's go get it. So I got it immediately as we got home. I started getting bad tummy cramps. No poop, but bad, bad, bad tummy cramps. And then I was like, yo, I can't do this again. But I did it again. So bless you. Yesterday I did it without cream and with almond milk and I was fine. So that is my story. That is my truth. Ah, please don't fall. Friends, I really need to fix this table. It's a mess. It is a mess. There's so many things lying there. Oh, I need to show you. So I told you my friend's mom sent a whole lot of things. She bought me this very cute hair grip. And it's so funny because I gave one away recently. Like a new one. I opened someone um what is her name on Inst I think her name is Michaela and on Instagram her handle is passionate on purpose and her business is La Moda Online I think let me just double check yo how do I find this now mm, wait I know where to find it so anyway she is from KZN shout out to you if you are watching this yes passionate on purpose Michaela Moonsami she is in Durban, but she was in Joburg when our church's celebration started, right? So she came to visit our church and she brought me a gift. She was the sweetest person ever. She bought us coffee at the church coffee shop. It was just amazing. So she has a business called La Moda Accessories. Yes, so her business is called La Moda Accessories and she bought she brought me a chain with some other gifts, but the chain was really stunning. I have it hanging up with all my other chains. Um yeah, so back to my story. So I gave someone the grip that was in that gift and someone else took the sweets. So it's just so funny that his mom bought me one and I was like, I really need to get one of these because it's hot now. And I don't like tying my hair because it's just a mission to take out this is so much easier look how cute it is it's from H&M it has fluffy poofs on it and Ollie thinks it's something to eat because I had it lying on the couch yesterday and he was trying to bite it I'm like no don't eat my toy I mean don't eat my club but it's stunning I want I kept it with me last night in bed I was wearing it as I slept and my hair didn't when I woke up my hair wasn't as wild as it is when I have it in a pony so it was it's a very beautiful clip and I'm happy that I have one and she also bought me a like suede scrunchie a white suede scrunchie that's very pretty too I'm gonna wear that on a special occasion okay I'm gonna finish up my lips I don't know what I'm doing yet and then I'll show you my full outfit when I'm done I think I just want to touch up my hair a little bit put my jewelry on and then I'll show you my outfit when I'm done obviously I forgot to end the vlog at home but this is me ending the vlog if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to I guess I know I'm not consistent on here and somebody said why do you tell people to subscribe if you're not consistent anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I am more consistent and see you guys in my next video Bye, Cela Bellas.